I am Florence Pugh and I'm here with BuzzFeed to play with some puppies. Ah! Fun fact, our dog, Billy, we fostered. We foster failed because we then adopted her and we weren't supposed to adopt her. And so my love for puppies is great and I'm worried that I'm accidentally gonna go home with a puppy. <laughs> Should I get a crate just in case so I, like, I'm prepared? Oh my God, I can't look. Oh my God! Oh my goodness, that's so many! Hi, Schmush. You are so pretty. I just you. Hi. Who are you? Hello. Oh my god, puppy overload. This is cruel, guys. I can't answer the questions. <laughs> I, I loved um, how far I would have to go as a performer. I, I loved you. <laughs> I loved how uh, I was able to just be barefaced and I suppose just be raw and open and honest and, and Zach gave me the... Oh my goodness! Next question, I can't think. So funnily enough, after reading the script, I was inspired to try and figure out what headspace this character was in and so I, I wrote that song for the movie in the headspace of Alison which was a unique situation that I'd never ever been in before and thankfully uh, Zach gave me the space to do that. Hi! So I was very, very grateful. Oh, you like? Nope, that's my booby. You can't do that. That's not allowed. Oh my God. I have the first movie I ever uh, was in called The Falling. The first scene I'm ever in, Maisie Williams and I are carving our initials into a, a, a piece of tree bark. But because we couldn't actually use the real tree bark, the prosthetics team made a prosthetic on the tree and we were carving our names into a pretend bit of... Oh, it's okay, don't worry. It's just a bit of paper. And they let me take the, the prosthetic home. So at home, I have the framed prop in the first scene I was ever in. I would love to do a regular cooking show. That would be like, honestly, a dream of mine. And hopefully, it's gonna happen. Hey, what's this? What's that? What's that? I had no idea that Paddington himself was gonna tweet me. Maybe one day I'd actually like to make marmalade with him. That would be a, a completely bizarre moment in my life. What's that? Yeah, it's good there. Here's the heart. Yeah. Ashley Park. I'd love to have Ashley Park on my cooking show because I think it would be pure, hectic mania. And I think that that is, oh, hi babe, it's all right. And I think that it would be hysterical and I don't know if she can cook, so that would be even funnier. Oh, the fact that I got to eat all the macaroni. Also, there was this one take where um, when I come in the room and Haley is supposed to be unaware that I'm there and she throws the sriracha at me, there was one take where she went to go and do the action of throwing the sriracha and the sriracha bottle wasn't shut and so sriracha flew around the room and in her hair um, and that was just pretty hysterical because it was very unspy-like of her. I, we, no, I, I made that up. <laughs> Well, because I, was, I wanted to eat the mac and cheese, they were like, you don't have to eat the mac and cheese if you don't want to. And I was like, are you kidding? I get to eat mac and cheese all day with sriracha on it. So I was like, well, where's the fork? It was amazing. I mean, it's, it's it, hey, no secret that Greta actually wrote that speech that morning, like 10 minutes before we were supposed to shoot. She was like, Hey, so you're gonna say this now, and this is how it's gonna be. You need to go and learn this, and we're gonna shoot it in like 10 minutes. So I was like, okay, can you just give me maybe 12 minutes, and I will go away and try and learn as much as possible. And I did, I went to the corner of the room, and I was just <laughs> Yeah, it's so fun! It's so fun! What's this? Go! They don't like to go and get things, do they? What's this? Hi. I think you're my favorite. 
Oh my god. I no, that's my mic pack. You can't do that. That's silly. What's this? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> This is a great premise, by the way. Um, I'm not sure you're getting the answers you actually want. Reuniting with Timmy was fantastic. We'd go and uh, have goulash and drink beer and just chat about life. I hadn't seen him in so long. And um, it was just so wonderful to see how much he'd grown. And he just, he, no, that's my mic mic. You can't do that. And just the set that he commands and the space that he commands. And it was just so cool to see this person that I'd met like four years ago flourish into this just incredibly present, focused and professional actor, which of all the things he was before. But like leading the June set is huge. You know, it's a massive, massive production. And it was just really cool to see my friend doing it so well. Probably had to be Venice. That was an incredible accomplishment from like both my glam team and Valentino and just the, the, t the timing of it all. Like it was pretty special. You know, I actually hadn't met him until the day before the rehearsals. And he and I are doing a movie together, but I don't know if the Academy <coughs> knew. What? What? Hi. Hi, you're so pretty. You're so pretty. Yes, you are. You're pretty too. You're pretty too. Yes, you are. Yep, the Academy didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> the Academy, I don't think, knew that we were going to do a movie together. And so it was kind of like weird circumstance. And then we got to meet, which was great. And we got along and I'd take the piss out of him and he'd take the piss out of me. It was like wicked, it was perfect. No, that's my left, you can't do that, that's naughty. Oh my God, she comes alive on the carpet, it's like truly comes alive. And it's just been such a wonderful poo time, poo time. I'd do it right there as well if I were you, don't you worry. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. To be fair, I get it guys, you know, frantic playing. <laughs> It all got very dramatic for a second, didn't it? And you did it in the perfect spot. Out of frame. Don't put your feet in it, because then I can't cuddle you. Well, it'd have to be the, f no, no, we're having a cuddle. No, we're having a cuddle. What's this? What's that? Yeah, go. It'd have to be the first one, just because it was so bizarre and amazing, and she just owned that carpet, and she kept on going up to, like all of the stars and being like, I'm a star now, ow, no, no, no. And then of course, when she did it again in London, no, 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 drop, there you go. Ah, ah. Up, 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 up. Wow, wow, somersaults. Um, yeah, the London one was pretty amazing. And also when I went to Ireland, she had a fan come up to me and say, is Granny Pat here? And I was like, no, Granny Pat isn't here. Shush, 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 shush. Hey, shush, shush. We've bonded. <laughs> Do you like me? I like you too. Oh, there was this one day when we were both strapped to a pole and the pole was shut, like falling through the air. And we were both had to be strapped to each other. So we were both strapped to each other's crotches, like crotch to crotch, and couldn't move for like hours. We were just hanging in the air. And it was one of those classic things where like, we kind of knew each other, but now we really knew each other. And we were just hanging there for hours. And the only thing we could talk about was food or when we needed to go to the toilet because it was not gonna happen for a long time. And um, yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there's few people that you, you would end up, no, that's my dress, you're not allowed to do that that you'd actually love being in that situation with, and, and Scarlett is definitely one of them. Yeah, I have created playlists in the past. It's not like I create a playlist for the role. I create a playlist during the time that I'm shooting, and it definitely reflects what I'm feeling or how I need to be feeling. And um, most of the time, it's like stuff that I've just found or stuff that I've revisited. You are precious too. I guess I'm taking you both home. I mean this what is going. This is a choice. Yes, midsummer, I had a lot of Olafur Arnolds. In fact, I listened to his latest album that had just come out and it was just I, I, I anything Olafur Arnolds does makes me just weep. So that was perfect for that movie. 
I would love to do a play. I'd love to do a musical, but I think the play might be first. It's definitely something that I've been kind of really needing to do for a while, so I think that's probably next on the cards. Oh, I mean, obviously, when everybody was watching White Lotus, it was White Lotus, but recently, what have I been watching? Ow, no, you silly munchkin. What's this one? There you go. But recently, I've been getting into Housewives of Miami, <laughs> which is my, uh, which is the thing. Hey, no, 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 we're not biting. We're having cuddles. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh, good question. I mean, it would have to be Spider-Man. I think they'd be so silly together. It would be so fun as well. And I've been desperate to meet Tom for such a long time. Also, I really think Yelena would be able to really, really take the piss out of him in a really good and healthy way. So that would be wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Zoe Lister Jones would answer right now. Jodie Turner Smith or Ashley Park? Yesterday I met Adam Sandler and he requested to quickly say hi to me before he went on stage. And he said that he's a fan of my work and his kids are a fan of Midsommar. I was like, oh my God, I grew up watching Adam Sandler. Like, he was our hero. Me and my brother would watch all of his stuff. And just, it was just kind of one of those surreal, oh my God, I'm meeting my my childhood, essentially. No, I know that's fun to bite, but you can't. Most definitely the, scene, the, the orgy scene, which sounds inappropriate to say in front of all these puppies, so don't hear, but the orgy scene. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Danny from Midsummer. Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 not on the neck, not on the neck. I miss Danny. I found it really hard to leave her. I felt like I had kind of abused her in some way. And so when I rapped, I found it, no, no. What are you skipping for? I found, I felt, I felt very guilty leaving her actually. That's probably just to show like how deep it went and how far I went with the character that I felt guilty leaving her on her own. A good person is in theatres now. You need to say your line now. No, okay. And a big shout out to North Shore Animal League America. You can adopt these puppies and have as much fun as I have had. Maybe don't have someone ask you questions whilst you're playing with them. It's very hard. <laughs> no, not my skirt. Thank you, everyone. Are we done? Are we cut? Okay, cool. Thank you. Quickly, go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go. I can't take you two. I can't take you two. <laughs> <laughs>